Okay, a histogram. So uh, what we need to know for histograms, um, the area is the frequency. So this is the area of the bar. It's not a bar chart. It's not the height. Um, this is actually the area and the height we're going to have to work out. So we're going to work out the height of the bar. Um, and that's called frequency density. So we have to draw the histogram. So we're going to have frequency density up the side. And we're going to have our time along the bottom. So if the area is 10, I mean, the area is 8, and it's 10 wide, 0 to 10 is 10. So the frequency density, the height, is going to be, all right, frequency density. We're going to take our frequency and divide it by the width of the class. So 8 divided by 10. Again, we can use the calculator because to calculate the paper, 16 divided by 10, 15 divided by 5, 12 divided by 5. So 12 divided by 5 is 2.4, and 6 divided by 20, that's 0.3. Okay, then we're going to draw the histogram. So we need to work out how the scale is going to look up the side. So it needs to go up to three. So we'll have one, two, and three. And this is frequency density. Zero down here. And the time goes up to 50. So it's going to be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And this is time. Time. T. <laughs> seconds. And then we just draw on the bars. So the first bar is 0 to 10 and it goes up to 0 0.8. So 0 to 10 up to 0 0.8. That's there. Um, I'm going to try and draw it as best as I can freehand. Um, use a ruler. Um, the second one goes up to 1.6 and it's 10 to 20. So it goes up to 1.6, which is there. Third bar, 20 to 25, and it goes up to 3. So 20 to 25 goes up to 3. Again, definitely use a ruler for this. Um, 25 to 30 goes up to 2.4. And 30 to 50 goes up to 0 0.3. So 1, 2, 3. And your histogram should look like that, obviously with straight lines.